How's it going, guys? My name's Andy, and this is how to play the solo to You Shook Me All Night Long. This is one of my definite recommended solos um, for improver to intermediate guitarist to try and tackle with a bit more complex bending and moving from the lower part of the fretboard to the higher part but this is very doable it's not too fast certainly not as fast as many other ACDC solos so let's have a go and learn this classic solo and to see all the other guitar solos that are on my channel click the link in the top corner please subscribe if you like this video lesson <laughs> That is the start of this awesome solo. Let me just adjust my microphone. And, um, oh, what an awesome solo. All this is based on the G minor pentatonic scale with some bluesy bends starting off with exactly that. Third um, string, fifth fret with the third finger, support with your middle and first so you can get it up there. Um, I recommend thinner strings for most beginners who are watching my channel wanting to get into this kind of soloing and do those kind of bends. So I've got nines on mine. You could even use eight. So it would be like eight, 10, 14, something like that. Um, like string thickness wise, gauge wise. Uh, but we start with this bend. Remember, we're not pushing up with your fingers. We're moving the wrist primarily in the hand in this kind of motion. See my wrist go up? That's how we do our bends. Thumb over the top. And if you get really excited, you can do a uh, unison bend with the first finger there. And then we have... Three on the finished string. Three on string two. Essentially, a lot of this is just mixing up your uh, minor pentatonic scale, really. Could do this one with your little finger if you're struggling to make that bend. And then. It's an awesome little move. we've gone from the thinnest string from the highest one of the highest notes of our uh, minor pentatonic scale so the high G almost down to the thickest string but we didn't go down in scale order he's made it more interesting and sound cooler mixing up the order a little bit and adding a bend so to recap two three four one two three four one and two and three and four and one. One last time with that and then we'll move on. Uh, remember the tab is on the website and it is just here. This is the tab that I'm using to teach this lesson. It's just here. Um, in two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And then we move on and we change. We're going to go down the minor pentatonic to here. Which is going to add this note. That is the same note as here. But um, blues guitarists tend not to go up this way. We want to use our first and third finger. As much as as much as possible to walk them down this case. So we rarely stay in kind of box one. We're always going to move down a little bit of box five, a little bit of box two. That's um, the way so many solos are kind of composed. So this comes after we go from here. Just literally walking down the scale. That 
That little bend is where all the character is, all the phrasing, all the coolness. Of course, watching this, you might go, oh, I just want to learn the order of the notes. If I can learn the order of the notes, I'll be able to play it. But so much of it is in getting those kind of bits done. So, do 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 Notice that I'm singing it. Maybe this is because I sing as well, but so many guitarists, to get a solo, because it's a melody, you have to be able to sing it or whistle it or be able to get your head around what it should sound like before you play it. Otherwise, you can struggle to find it an awful lot. And if you're just sight reading, you'll need to add that to your game. And if that's the only way that you're learning solos at the moment, and you're just by ear, just by watching people's fingers, probably need to work on your sight reading a little bit to get fiddly bits. Easy peasy. And that is the last section that's around box one of the G pentatonic. Okay, so let's take that from the top and then we're going to move on. Okay, so two, three, four. Absolutely love this solo. Now I've always played this with a slide, it's with a slide on the tab that I'm using, but it, having listened to the original just now, it does sound like a hammer-on. Okay. Where are we? We're at 5 and 7, and then the middle finger is at 6 fret. I always used to do it with a slide, five to seven, but it's sounding like a hammer on to me. That finishes all that time from when we're moving up. So this goes. Pick, hammer, pick, pick, and then finishing off. Um, let me know if I'm going too fast or too slow in the comments below so that you can give me some feedback so that I do better lead guitar solo tutorials in the future. You know, too fast, too slow, didn't get that bit, didn't get that bit. Let me know in the comments. Give me the, the time as well so that I can check out exactly how I did. But here we have a, a really cool bend. This happens so, it's such a, such a great classic rock riff to, uh, or a classic rock lick, a little part that you can steal and do in your improvisation. So in total, and then, This is what, what I mean about this kind of phrasing and why I've spent so long in so many of my, you know, top 10 guitar solos of, uh, for beginners, which should be up here. Um, all those kind of tutorials, we're looking at string bending, 100%. You know, the, the amount of different notes you can get out of one bend. <laughs> And here we need bending up. This is 11th fret, bending up a whole tone, support the bend. So these two fingers are down also. That was a whole bend. And then a half. Just to there. So it sounds like. It's there, isn't it? So what we're going for is And after that 
we're going to move up the octave again. I love this solo because it gets you from the open position pentatonic up to the octave. Right up there. We're doing that in a second. Going to love it. But, first of all... That's what we need, first of all. Recap from the top, really slowly. Let's put these two bits together, and then we're going to forget about them and move up. I fully expect, you know, this to take a few days if, some, if any of you are really trying to learn this song. If you do it all in one sitting, you might not be able to, to get it all in. Certainly not with the phrasing. This is going to take days and a you know, week sort of, sort of thing. You're going to keep coming back to it. You're going to cover this. You're going to forget about it for a couple of days, and then you come back to it and, and see how far you can get. And then play something else for the day and come back to it. You know, you, you've got um, to be patient with it, but keep coming back to it and get a little bit further and a little bit further. That's the way to do it. So a recap from the top. And then, oh yeah, um, this is the top of the G minor pentatonic scale, starting at 15th fret. First finger is at 15th fret. This is why we have cutaways like this, so we can get right up here. Personally, I just choose to do a unison bend there, 100%. Okay. And after that unison bend, one, two, three, and four, and... That's it. One, two, three, and four, and... All of these licks that we teach here, so this one... You could then go on... Just improvise with it. Please have fun with guitar solos, for the love of God. It's the bit everyone wants to do, yet I don't see enough people actually enjoying doing it. The enjoyment comes from taking one little bit that you learn... ...and then just practicing over a whole rock backing track in the key of G, just doing that. You know, just do that one lick and then change it a little bit and come back to that same one, change it a little bit, come back to that same one. That is how we learn how to play a lead guitar and how to do rock solos. So this is sort of the second start of the second half when we've jumped up the octave. minor pentatonic kind of stuff. Before we got to this point... And then we have a bend. Standard kind of blues bend. 17th fret of the third string. Again, if I'm going too fast or too slow, let me know in the comments. Totally cool. Little finger. That whole section one more time, that whole couple of bars. One, two, three, four. Ooh, yeah. 
So bluesy. And then the final section. <coughs> tricky little um tricky little bend. I'm supporting this with all four fingers holding this thinnest string up. They're the notes that we'd be hearing. And this is at a 19th fret. So 12, 15, 17, 19. One more time. Half bend. Back to normal on 19. 17th fret. Full bend up to 15. Then a little finger, string down. Such a cool little bit. Um, again, not much new apart from for some of you, you might not have played up in this area of the neck. But not too, f not too, f not no big sort of hammer on bits or anything. It's all right. One more time, less time. We're so close to the end. From here again, from 19th fret, this sort of last quarter of the solo. That's that bit, and then moving on. So pick to a hammer on. Okay, one more time. Two, three, four. And that is the end of that kind of solo. So let me work through the second half of this, and then we're going to try and put both of them together and do a full playthrough. Okay, so second half of this starts at... That's where we're going from. Okay, two, three, four. Last quarter. I used kind of dumb fingering then, so let me do that one more time. Two, three, four. That's the dumb fingering I use, I should do that to get back to. Oh yeah! Okie dokie. Here we go. Full thing, slowly, staying focused, my camera. Thank you. <laughs> Two, three, four.
you so much for watching and getting through all of that. I really appreciate it. We do have a full lead guitar course coming um, at the end of 2017. Loads more guitar solos up there by clicking that link or on the screen now. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye for now.